In the summer of 1789, when Haiti was still the dormant colony of Saint-Domingue, it was France that grabbed the world's attention. Parisian mobs rioted against the French king and against their own desperate poverty. Chanting slogans for liberty, equality, and brotherhood, they sparked a revolution that would fill history books for centuries to come. The trick about the French Revolution was that it meant a lot of different things to a lot of different people. In the streets of Paris, the French Revolution meant an end to the appalling privileges of wealth. And France's brand new Congress, called the National Assembly, it meant the ideas of Europe's most radical thinkers could be realized. Nobody knows exactly what's going to come out of it, but just the idea of, of, of having rights, right? The idea that all people have rights, that those rights are inherent. This was something that obviously philosophers had written about before, but during the course of the French Revolution, it was written down in a text called the Declaration of the Rights of Man. It's a dangerous idea because the society is based on inequality. That's what makes it work, because it was not supposed to work for everybody. It was supposed to work for a minority. What was a dangerous idea in France was even more dangerous in its slaveholding colonies off the coast of Florida, Martinique, Guadeloupe, and an island known as the Pearl of the Antilles. Today, the western half is Haiti. Then it was the French colony of Saint-Domingue. Few intended colonial slaves should take democratic ideas to heart. Far too much was at stake. Sugar greased the wheels of the 18th century economy, and Saint-Domingue was the sugar capital of the world. It was easy, even for France's political radicals, to ignore the agony that made it all possible. The leaves of the sugarcane are just like minuscule saw. If they cut you, you may not even see it, but when you perspire, the sweat gets in it and it burns. In the roots, there are ants. They bite. And when they bite you, you will scratch yourself for half a day. If the worker refused to work, well, there is a law which you just shoot him, that's all. The whole concept of slavery itself is, is a totally savage one. The French, they brought it down to science. A slave coming from Africa would not last three years, the way the system was organized. 